Welcome to that scene, this is Zoe Vaughn, and you're watching that story, for Jaws. It's a hot summer on Amity Island, a small community whose main business is its beaches. New York Islander? No, New York City. You here for the summer? Come on. When new sheriff, Martin Brody, discovers the remains of a shark attack victim, his first inclination is to close the beaches to swimmers. Come on, get out of there. Take this stuff back to the office and get to work on those signs. Right. Beaches closed, no swimming, by order of the Amity PD. This doesn't sit well with Mayor, Larry Vaughn, and several of the local businessmen. Well, what other authority do I need? Well, technically, you need a civic ordinance or a resolution by a board of select. That's just going by the book. We're really a little anxious that you're, uh, you're rushing into something serious here. Sheriff Brody backs down to his regret as that weekend a young boy is killed by the predator. The dead boy's mother puts out a bounty on the shark, and Amity is soon swamped with amateur hunters and fishermen hoping to cash in on the reward. Chief Brody? Yes? <laughs> you knew it was dangerous. But you let people go swimming anyway. But still, my boy is dead now. A local fisherman with much experience hunting sharks, Quint, offers to hunt down the creature for a hefty fee. Ten thousand dollars for me by myself. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Soon Quint, Brody, and Matt Hooper from the Oceanographic Institute are at sea, hunting the great white shark. As Brody succinctly surmises, after their first encounter with the creature, he says they're going to need a bigger boat. That's a 20-footer. 20 25. Three tons on them. And then, the trio engage in an epic battle of man versus nature. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe to that scene for more new videos, and don't forget to watch our video of Woody's Bad Dream, Get Out Mashup. Take care.